Hey, if somebody's on there, let me know you're here. I'm not seeing any comments yet. There we go. Let me spell it P-O-W-T-I. Hey, Katie. You're logged in as me, girl. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Jessica. All right, you guys. I haven't done this in a while. Let me figure out how to pin my comment here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Can everybody hear me okay? I never know if I talk loud enough. I'm told that I don't, so. Okay. It says I pinned the comment, but I don't see it. There we go. Okay. All right. Log on here. I'll give me just a second. Hi, Donna. Hi, Hi Antoinette. All right, let's see. Let me just get on here. I can see myself. Hi, Jessica. All right. Down. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. How are we feeling? Tell me, Katie. Hi, Connie and Donna, Holly and Lisa. Glad you all are joining. Okay, I'm to thank Katie for putting this scenario together. I think this was an excellent idea, and I hope everyone has enjoyed themselves. I know I have. It has filled up uh, some space that it has for you guys too. Okay, um, I, what I'm going to do. I'm going to breathe. I have an order. So I thought I'll just go ahead and do that and then I'll just get it knocked out so I can get it in the mail today. We all know bees are the craze. I'm going to perfect tails. All right. Okay. Let me show you my sign. And I made the sign that's going on here as well. It's just a bee sign that says hello in yellow. So that will be what we're designing around. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put my wreath form together. I'm using the Dollar Tree wreath frame. I have six twist ties on the inside and I have outside. So we're going to be using the ruffle technique. And I'm going to use this yellow. And we'll just ruffle these up and get them on here. And then I'm going to come back and accent with the black white and I'll try to be able to try to tell you guys doing if there's any questions um, feel free to ask if I do it maybe somebody else can answer it maybe Katie can get it for me all right let's get started here I usually try to fold the end under just a little then we'll make our bow tie. I like to kind of flip mine under a little, little as much as they'll let me. And just put it in and twist it. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Our weather has been so crazy. We go from one extreme to the other here in North Alabama. It's nice and today I actually had to turn my fan on my garage here. I work out of my garage and I apologize for the mess that y'all see. I never seem to have enough time 
time to stop and clean it up. Hi, Willamine. Hi, Tammy. So, this is the first time I've done a live in a while before Christmas. Now oh, it's time to get back into the swing of it. This has been, I will admit, been one of my fears. But, you know, it's really not that bad. It's not hard. You just feel like you're talking to yourself. I wish there was a way, and there probably is, to have somebody else on here with me, helping me chat. I heard somebody say that they got a credit uh, order today, or were getting one one day. I guess they started shipping again. Hey, Dor You had a big shot here last night. What's that? What do you mean? Dahlia. How many on the wreath? Cindy, I have six on the and eight on the outside. So it's a 14. And when you're spacing them out on the outside there, just wherever the tip of the uh, pipe cleaner, you know, ends, that's where you put the neck. I have found that I've been using the side, and I'm using eight, and it's, there's no difference. And it actually helps fit in a 20-inch box a little easier, too. Which on Amazon, that's that's the size box that I use because I do include the shipping. One of these days, I'm going to get my Mevo set up. Even want to try that today. So went back with the cam. It's nice to see so many people stepping out of their comfort zone and trying out these lives. But yeah, I think that um, I think we we're like in the eight high eighties today or something like that. I mean, I've actually gone from wearing a a sweater and a jacket to a t-shirt. It's like there's nothing in between. Did I set a 20 inch box? Yes, that is what I said. <laughs> yeah. It makes, leaving the two on the edge makes the wreath a tad smaller, but I have 20 inch boxes and uh, it fits right in there fine. And of course, you know, they don't cost as much to ship those, so. Oh, thank you, Doreen. I love them. Speaking of shirts, uh, Katie and Doreen and I have created a t-shirt boutique shop called Three Gals Boutique that we're uh, constantly adding to. So if you guys like t-shirts, like cute t-shirts, inspirational t-shirts, if one of them will put the link, Katie or Doreen, y'all can take a look at some of the shirts that we have. I uh, was working on a couple of these shirts last night um, that I'm going to put in there today. Really cute. 
my mesh is cut, my yellow here is cut 20 inches. And I've also got um, my B sign is in my shop. I've got um, some kits in there as well. Some of my painted mason jar bathroom vanity sets are in there. I'm working on up in my shop, getting some more things in there as well. I know I have a bee kit and a ladybug kit in there right now. And guys, I just separate these and fluff them up as much as we can here. And we're going to have uh, more kits to put in. I'm looking at getting started. I've got a really cute ghost sign that um, I've got made. And if I have time, I'll show it to you here before we get finished. It's really cute. I'm going to put it in there as a kit. You can either buy the sign and ribbon kit or the kit or the just the sign. I try to list them all three ways for those of us that um, you know don't need everything. And there's some of us that like to get it all in one box. So All right, last one here. Yeah, can you guys not hear me? Am I not speaking loud enough? I'm looking thin. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. Not thin enough, though, I can tell you that. <laughs> I did push my camera further away. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Okay, now I've cut uh, my accent mesh, which is which is this black and white. It's cut in. What kind of mesh? Um, the yellow, Linda, that I put on here is uh, it's just the regular value mesh. This is uh, I, I'm not sure what this is, but it's pretty thick. It's Okay. All right. I'm being told you guys can't. This mesh is, um, I think it's poly. I'm not sure. I can look at the label and see, but it is thick. That's why I've only got it in. I was going to try it with one, um, one curl, but I cut enough to do two curls in each one, and I think maybe that's what I'll do. So we're going to curl both of them up. Guys, it's hard for me to speak loud. <laughs> okay. And then we'll just put thin all the way around. You can find good. Okay. My husband just sent my mother me to speak louder. <laughs> the length of the black and white, it's 10 inch mesh in, um, yeah, 10 inch mesh and I've cut in strips and I'm using two and just crossing them and putting them in. Poly burlap. Yeah, I think maybe this black and white is poly burlap. You're breaking in and out. Okay, well, I, that's the internet. I think I need a, to get a boost out. He's telling me I'm breaking in and, in and out. Hopefully you can hear me. It keeps cutting in and out. Okay, okay. sound is good. All right. I think it might have something to do with so many people on the internet. Probably. 
definitely don't have a problem. Any of you guys have made be Let's see some heart heart have. I've always loved to be. Thanks, Doreen. Cutting in and out. Okay. Okay. Well, there's enough. That's the internet. I can't. If I'm petty, go. Try that. If you guys are having that problem, I know my. You know what? I don't think I cut enough for two of these. A little few more. I think I only cut 14. Excuse me, I got six. Let's see, what have I got? I've still got 45 minutes. Okay. I think I'm doing well. Okay, so we're going to cut a little more mesh. Let's see, I've got how many more ties? One, 13 more ties. Okay. You guys got a doodle caddy? I love mine. I love how it holds my holes and my perfect tails. So I'm cutting these at 10 inches. And I still didn't how many I need. So that's two. I've already lost count now. <laughs> uh, Carmen. Oh, you're welcome, Cindy. Um, the okay. What did you ask me? What method did you use on the yellow? I just did the uh, ruffle. I cut it at twenty, and I used a ruffle technique on it. I don't really worry too much with the edges fraying. If I can turn them under, um, that's what I do. But it's usually not that much of a problem. All mesh is going to fray. Two more. Thanks, Yvonne. <laughs> okay. I normally cut those two at a time, but 
now. Shoot, I should have put them over here. Got them over here in my way. All right, let's see. We put just the outside left here. Curl it up, and I, I don't mind all that tight. The looser look. I love how this looks. This ribbon's going to look really nice on this black and white. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. me guys is uh Melly Mel with Sincerely Creative. She'll be coming up next so you guys make sure you tune in. Show her some love. A nice fluffy, nice and full. Oh, and guys, if y'all are, I don't know if any of y'all sell on Amazon or not, but um, at the Crafters Convention this year, I am going to. Uh, speak on the business day and give you guys an overview of Amazon Handmade. So if you're going to the Crafters Convention, I will see you there. If not, get a, get yourself a ticket. We really had a great time last month. If it's something you can do, you should go. I think it's in, uh, I can't remember the exact date, but I know it's in April next year. All right, I cut one too many. That's okay, we'll use it on the next one. I hear people out cutting their grass. Did that, or my husband did that yesterday. All right, so I'll just go back and do a little bit of fluffing here. It doesn't really need it, but there we go. Yes, the I, that's what I, I like the yellow on the bottom as well. Oh, well, I hope you get to go, Paula. At least, I think, I think they have like a payment plan on the tickets right now. Um, Katie knows more about it than I do. But I believe there's, there's some kind of a payment if you go ahead now. Hi, Ann. See you too, Ann. Okay, guys. Uh, I already cut some of my ribbon, but I left the ribbon to cut with you guys. So, I can show you how to use this. And I have a, uh, I've had some requests for a couple new sizes that are going to be released next week. I was waiting on some uh, stickers to come in so I could get those released. I actually already have one set listed, just there's just not a picture there. Hi, Susan. Okay. Um, what did I do? 
I'm thinking I'm going to make a bow. All right, I cut these at 13 inches. Um, I'm going to use my 13 inch tail. These come in 12. Here, I'll just show you the this original set, 13 and 14. Let me hold them up here where you can see. No, wait a minute, that is 12. I'm sorry, I told you the wrong measurement. I cut these at 12 inches. But um, all we do is take our ribbon, place it on our board, and just roll it as many times as you need. And I think I need seven. One. Well, let me start over here. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping it because I've already cut it. Let's get it up here. Four. Okay, I've wrapped it seven times. And I use my monster scissors to cut it. <laughs> and you can just slide it off. It's a, it's a time saver, guys. These are made out of wood. I know Katie was talking about them earlier. They're made out of wood. They have like six coats between the clear coating and the uh, paint. So they do take time for all that to cure and dry. That's why we uh, put in there 20 days. It, it can take up to 21 business days before they're shipped. All right. This out of our way. You know what? I already had one cut. Okay. All right, so let's pair up. I've got the B ribbon here. I've got a polka dot. And I love this flower, or the daisy. I'll pair that up with the dot. And then we have our bow in black. Start. We'll put that with the bees. I like to point my uh, tails towards me three times and then rather than cut the uh, chenille stems I just bend them behind and there we go Let me move these over here I'm kind of in a odd spot here Lisa. Did y'all watch Lisa's live last night? She was introducing us to uh, Chalk Couture. You guys are here and take a look at that live. I gotta think her is Kellum's Chalkins, I believe is the name of it. Put it in there, Lisa. I can't remember. I think that was it. But she was doing a cute project with a buffalo check last night on a carrot.
Let's see. And guys, I do the top and the bottom as I go. I don't know why I do that. I just do. <laughs> yeah, the daisy ribbon is really pretty. I've got it in several colors. Um, I was going to put together some kits, uh, some welcome kits with the with this ribbon. I've got it, I think, in the red and the blue and the... I think I've got it in yellow and the green and the pink, as a matter of fact. So if you guys are interested in those, if you'll... I hope to get them up this weekend. I lose my train of thought here. Okay, dots and daisies. Let's see. I've got 30 minutes. I think I'm going to be fine. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I like the colors, too. I think the daisy ribbon makes it. And, of course, my son. <laughs> Golly, since I've started this, it's just gotten so much warmer. All right, I messed that one up. I see it now. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, kitty. I've got a uh, order for a football wreath, too, that I might get on here tomorrow and uh, make with you guys. You have to have this sign. Okay, girl, I can I can do that for you. Yeah, and these new B shirts that um, we're listing, I'm going to make some too. Let's see. Yes, Antoinette, I do make customs. Hi, Beverly.
thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm doing good, Georgie. Can't see the sign? Okay, Connie. Here is the sign. Just says hello. And we will be attaching that in just a minute. Okay. Bees. Bees. <laughs> and surely you come up with something. Yes, Sam, you do that. Here. You're going to put B on your serene. I think that's what I'm going to do too. I've bought, um, thanks, Susan. I've bought, uh, the stuff to make one of the sugar, the, one of the stuffed sugar bunny wreaths. Or I was going to actually make a swag with it. And I think I'll make two and uh, my give one to put on my, my daughter that lives close by for my grandsons. I think they would enjoy that. I got inspired. I was watching Tammy one night, Tammy Hodges, one night, Polka Dot Wreath Co. And um, she was making one. And I thought, that is just so cute. And I have tons of uh, the, uh, oh gosh, the green wreaths, what do you call them? The ones they have out at Christmas time, I call them greenery wreaths, but they're called something else. And I just thought I'd get one of those and just make an oval out of it and use swag and make a couple of those for my door and one for her. Now my daughter that's in uh, that an hour and a half from me. She's very picky. She has to pick everything out, and I don't think that would be her style. <laughs> so she likes everything kind of farmhousey, rustic, which I do. I tend to do that because I like the fun ones. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of different bee wreaths. And like I said, I'm going to put a few more bee sign and bee kits in the end. In well. I think I've got three in there now, maybe two or three, but there's a couple others I want to make. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Gary. I'm trying to catch some of the comments, guys. I'm sorry if I don't see everybody. Okay. Let's see here. Why am I... Oh. Nope, this should be the last one. I've just got an extra ribbon. Okay. Let's see here. So let me show you what we've got so far. That is really pretty just by itself. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Carol. I really like that. Now, I've already got uh, 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 pipe cleaners 
shell stems, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just use uh, the my signs. I make got a quarter inch thick, so uh, I usually take a piece home and fold it in half, and then staple my uh, Chanel stem to it. That's how I always do it. And sometimes it doesn't go through at all, but I just try to be on the safe side. And let's a bow that I've already made. Just a little accent bow. And I made it by hand, but I did the, uh, I guess you call it a terry bow. Yeah, there's, I think, four different ribbons in it. But it will accent it with this. So, I made, I probably should have put it first. Oh, well, yeah, do that, guys. Save yourself some ribbon and put your bow on first. Okay. So we're going to put our sign right here. And this is always the hardest part, getting this in there. Thanks, Roxanne. That's right. You got, don't forget to tune into Melly Mail here shortly. Sincerely Creative is her page. Thank you, Brenda. Let's see, I think I missed something here. I try to tie to the crossbar if I can. Yeah, that's right, Ricky. I should have done that. Thanks, Vanessa. I could have saved myself a few cuts of ribbon and put that on first. So you, you, you remember to do that. Alright, and now we will attach our bow. Oh my goodness. I should have my bow. I had time for that. I was afraid I wouldn't. And I also like to go, let's move, push some of this out a little bit. Okay. And we will go right here with this. So I'll have time to show you a few signs. Hi, Becky. Hi, Tony. Thank you. Oh, this black and white is thick. I might have, should have put longer hands <coughs> on it. Thanks, Becky. Okay, there, I think I got it now. Have I got it too low? Maybe I do have it too. There we go. There and there. What you can do is you can double up those pipe cleaners when you make your bow too, make them a little bit longer, and that makes putting the bow on a little bit easier too. Let's see, I might need to trim those a little bit.
this one looks a little long. Okay. All right. I think we've got it here. I can show a uh, show it to you guys. Okay. Got a little bit of a glare. Can you guys see? Let's back up some. Will that help? Or closer? There we go, closer. All right, so tell me what you think. It's bright, yes. Very bright. I think it's pretty though. I can also sign my white background, and I've done it with the white, and that looks just as good too. I think I have a um, a sign that I've got done in, in white. On it, maybe a hello. Thanks, you guys. Way to go, no secretary. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's very top. I've been posted. Boutique. Got in there. As well, be some. With time, they see try to get easy on some uh and um fall, but I'm gonna go grab a, a, a uh, um, I've been working on my shots just a second. So guys, I'm going to grab a couple different things I've got here to show you that I still have. I'm proud of myself. I didn't have to beat the clock. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Yes, I'm getting ready to show you some signs. Okay, I don't know if anybody's still interested in Easter or not, but these little bunnies that are very cute. The carrots. You can this way or this way. Thanks, Jennifer. And this is the little ghost I was telling you about. He's really cute. I don't have him on there yet, but I will put him on there today. Um, I'm going to throw a kit together. Well, not throw a kit together. I'll put some thought into it. But I'll put a kit together um, with some mesh. and then, and then, Or you can buy just the uh, the ghost. These are, these are all hand. -hand. And I've got a cute little bunny right here. That's really cute too. We got him pink. He's in blue and pink. And let's see, what else do I have? I've got some cross floral crosses. Brenda. Yeah, I love, love the ghost. It's cute. And and it's not it's not scary. That's that's what I like about it. I don't I don't, I don't really do scary Halloween. I like a sweeter. Oh, thanks, Doreen. Let's see. I was gonna grab how many more minutes have I got to show you guys? I've still got ten minutes. Okay. <clears throat>
I'm back. Sorry. I should have had these stacked up beside me. I, I really thought it would take me the hour to um, finish. Um, this is really cute. Get him out of the plastic here. Can you guys see the little skunk? I think he'd be cute. he would be cute for summer as well. He's real cute. Winner, uh, the bunny today, today. As soon as I get off this live, I'm going to be taking pictures and putting them on there. Here's a ladybug. I think I might have a ladybug on there already. Yeah, I've just finally got to a point to where I can get pictures. Yeah, Jennifer, I, I promise if you give me an hour, um, it, I'll, I'll be, you will be there. Here's Sunny. Here's the blue and the pink bunny. Okay, and here's a B. Another B. And that's all I've got that I can put my hands on the moment. That one bunch of that. And here's nothing. Oh, Ricky. All right. Well, I've got, like I said, interested in any of these signs that I've shown. Uh, Read of this be on my website. It will be shortly. I slept too late this morning. I should have uh, gotten up and uh, the last B. I uh, I think it is. If not, I, I have two different ones. Uh, the only difference in them are this. I know that the here is like a. Watching get 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 signs in there. That's what I did, and uh, make sure you uh, spread the love for everybody today. Uh, and thanks again, Katie, for doing this. Hey, this I probably still wouldn't have done alive. <laughs> so, and uh, I need to get back into the swing of doing these. So. Um, Make sure you uh, check out my check out our Three Gals Boutique uh, uh, door designs and Crazy Crazy Creations. Everybody else doing live today. Everybody else, y'all just spread the love for everyone. And I hope you've had a little bit of inner today. And um, you guys try to make a wreath this way. I did it like I said with six on the inside, eight on the outside, and it's it's pretty. It's nice. So whoever bought this is, I think they'll enjoy it. Uh, I always get nice little thank yous when I send this particular wreath out. All right, stay safe and um, uh, watch for uh, Sincerely Creative on Sincerely Creative. She's coming up next and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.